Hey guys, Boston, Massachusetts is checking in and we're about to review a video from Dan, Dan D, P-O-B, in the house. And really it's about this Hassan Campbell, Mother Duck, I believe WAC 100 is in the room, the, video, the chat room, just some other people and Mama Duck people like y'all listen I'm qualified to speak because I'm related so anyways I want y'all to hear Hassan's argument and the thing with Hassan is Hassan come out very foul like saying fucked up disrespectful rhetoric to anybody basically he don't care who it is that's what Hassan do he said, I'm a revolutionary. Of what? Bullshit? Because you always up in some mess, homie. You always riding a wave, not fighting for a wave. Finding a wave to fight for. Like COVID. Like police brutality. Like the missing black people. None of that revolutionary. But you go after people who is either trying to elevate the community or their su experience some type of sufferance from the community but you go after them like oh my bad my bad the revolutionary always is apologizing what revolutionary or revolutionist you find apologizing you don't make sense a revolutionist don't apologize he don't apologize he stand 10 toes down a revolutionist because he fighting for something and he's willing to die for it you say fucked up shit to to express black people and black mothers when like they said you come from these same conditions and you have a black mother but the difference is when people bring that up about you and what happened to you and the same stuff that you be promoting you make an excuse for me so you're gentle when you're talking about your people you're gentle they feel me they ain't bust bastards and and you don't hold them accountable. I gotta hold a dead woman accountable, honey. She gone on to the next life. She's in judgment now with God Jehovah, Jesus Christ. They got her. So I said that to say this. You're very sympathetic when it comes to your people. When it comes to the black people, you are very derogatory. You talk very foul, talking about accountability. When motherfuckers is gonna pay us for the fucking 40 acres and a mule? Accountability, nigga. We got blood spilled on these fucking streets. Accountability, not just against crime in general in the black community that don't seem to be eradicating with all the police presence okay niggas still getting killed with sirens going 24 7. revolutionists will come out and find out who's putting the fucking guns up in the hood a revolutionist will be out here trying to combat the motherfucking crime you don't go after the real crips and blood. You don't talk about them. You be general and you be brief when it comes to gang violence. But there are some people that you specifically target. Okay? And this is what's disappointing that you have the platform to do this. That you're not regulated. That you never go against community guidelines. That you seem to keep your audience. You seem to keep shit with all the fucked up shit you say and do. <laughs> that the, What you spew out your mouth is in your heart about us, the black culture. That you seem to capitalize off and monetize off and talk very, very, very disrespectful about. Why don't you talk about something else? A 
other than the black people. Whether we hold ourselves accountable or not. A lot of motherfuckers don't hold us accountable. So if we ain't holding ourselves accountable, so fucking what? What is it to you who is being a fucking snake, saying one thing, doing another? You came after Kwame. You came after Kwame. You went after Derek. Up close and personal. You pushed that man around if that shit wasn't no acting. You got so much to say about people, black people who was out here just living. I'm glad Mama Duck read you your rights. She's classy. Mama Duck for president, motherfuckers. What y'all thought? No. That's our auntie. People who know you personally. You don't even know people. You talk about them. You don't even believe yourself in what you say. Or you would never apologize. Because like you said, I, if I mean what I say and I said what I mean, what you apologizing for? What for? You sit here and you be like, you trying to stir up, kick up old dust. Old dust was just two days. Just because you think you apologize, but you said it. I hear your apology, but you still said that. And you had no reason. That's the thing which you never have a reason. You never have a reason. It's even bigger than you getting views because you can post videos. Motherfuckers are nosy out here. They're going to find some shit. They're going to follow some shit. So it ain't even about views. It's bigger than that. And you find yourself... You you find yourself in this situation all the time. I heard someone say... I read a post that said, you're going to be the first blogger killed. You're not. You're not. Because there's... A lot of views out here. That's why your audience is so big because you actually say what motherfuckers won't say and then you apologize. And then you apologize. Which one is it? Who is the real Hassan? Who will the real Hassan come forward? Like he said, you always bragging about how you came from the hood. I don't want to be a street nigga. When that man checked your ass, you don't want to be a street nigga. But that was your whole platform. You was a street nigga. But we always knew you wasn't a street nigga. Because you know what? I never heard a street nigga get on nowhere and really be like, you know, a nigga molesting me. This fucking, you know your lifetime and your black people and your people out here in the streets. You know you little niggas be doing shit. So you, you didn't do anything. You talked about it. And came to the public like sympathize for me. And they did. <laughs> That's the funny thing about it. What you asked for, they gave you sympathy. And every time you turn it around, you belittling someone and bad mouth from them. Come on, man. Come on, man. And then you always sorry. You always apologizing. I'm not a fucking sorry nigga. I don't never like to really apologize because I really watch my behavior that I don't offend someone because I don't come at people fucked up off the gate. Like out the gate, I ain't a fucked up person saying some bullshit to you like, damn, you waited to speak to me to get my attention to say that? Make you scared to not even talk to you. You're the type of person that I want to avoid because I don't know what you're going to say. And I don't want to hear that shit in my goddamn ear. That's the type of person you are. And then you try to make a motherfucker because you know how to come. You got some type of disorder going on. Because you can be one way and then be flip it that quick. Like what kind of fucking demon is on you is the question. What kind of motherfucking possession you're under? Because one minute you old hardcore fucker bitch, I kill a bitch, blowing your snot box off. You got other motherfuckers saying that. So I had to let them know I was loving your content until you until you started referring to people as objects. Lost media, disconnect. 
I don't understand that. Because that's a life. And I'm pro-life. I love people. I love living. So when you start referring to people as objects, like what? Right there, you're disassociating, you're, uh, disassociating yourself as being a human being. And if you're not a human being, then what the fuck are you? Are you a clone? Are you a robotoid? A synthetic robotoid? Like Hillary Clinton and all of them running around this bitch? Are you a fucking demon? Let, don't make me assume my real persona, who I really am. Whatever that bitch said. What are you? Who are you? How do you live in these conditions? You ain't done shit for nobody. You won't even go and get a motherfucker convicted for being a child molester, according to you. He died me. But the other man that's coming for us said he fought them. Which one is it? Died or fought? If it was something he did, why he stop at dying you? But that's neither here nor there. You understand? When you talk about our people, bro, you're talking about yourself too. I hope you realize that. When they're looking at your black children, that's what they think what you said. They don't see black people who is a law abiding citizens, who's out here going to school, who's getting great aid, great grades, who is actually contributing to society, not getting in trouble, don't have no criminal records like she said. As big and as black as Duck was, he didn't have no criminal record. He might have talked that shit, but that bro, did not have no criminal record. Quando Rondo said a lot of them sing about that shit, but don't be about that shit. And then when they get killed, you realize they was just talking. That's Hassan. You seem to talk about the black culture all the time, the mothers, the children. You seem to do a disservice and a dishonor to our culture, baby. <laughs> For what reason? What's your purpose? Why do you do that to us? I haven't heard you talk about no other culture but the black man. You're fascinated with us. You done got 300,000 views talking about your people. The same people when you wake up, you look in the mirror, you see your motherfucking self. Damn, I'm black. I'm black. <laughs> I'm black. But you 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 find delight and enjoyment in this. You talked about Kwame Brown. You said because that man didn't want to accept your apology, well fuck it, let's fight. You was a bitch ass nigga. Niggas in your state was asking you, yo, what's up, nigga? And you sitting up here like <laughs> I have to say, like, in this song, Kimmy Cachet, shout out, something to say. Ew, creatures, get them away from me. That's how I look at you like a creature, yo. You were weird, all. And you're very humble, too, when niggas is at your ass. Niggas always be wanting to fight you. You want to fight motherfuckers you know can't fight your ass. You get on there talking like a bitch. You could tell something's up with you, yo. You could tell something's up with you, yo. You say, I'm a revolutionist. I'm like, you're a revolutionist? I gotta fucking look that word up. Because I know you is not the definition of that shit. Because, like, who the fuck you fighting for? Because every time you turn around... You're, you're, not, you're not fighting for us. You're talking about us. You're belittling us. Talking about we're the worst people on the planet. Who are you? Who a revolutionist fight for a culture, race, and stand for them? You might not even be fucking black. I don't even know what the fuck you identify as. And you talking about the black man. You might not even be motherfucking black. 
qualified to even talk about the black man. You said your mother's dead. You said. You said your father. I don't know, man. Because I hope you ain't the type of motherfucker on the outside looking in. That's all I'm saying. But let's hear your ass. And again, I don't give a fuck. Spell my name right, okay? Boston, Massachusetts. Tired of black people not taking accountable for the shit that we put out in our community. In every household in the black community decided to take responsibility for what we raising and what we sitting outside, the world will be a better place. But you know... Well, first of all, the people who conquered the motherfucking world and made it a fucked up place is you niggas who's doing the same shit today. You're trying to tell motherfuckers where dress is. You're trying motherfucking tell motherfuckers, you know what I mean, to to delude, to be delusional, to tell tell people that they can't say nothing to you because you're going from one state to another. Which, if I was feeling a certain way and I'm under the, all of these motherfucking things, they say I, I'm depressed. We can't be the people to save the world. We're not the ones who fucked up the world. We're not the ones who conquered the land and stole everything. So how the fuck can we make shit better when we can't even get rights? We ain't the one out here murdering motherfuckers in, in, in clothing, uniforms. How are we, Hassan? Is that us? The people that, that make the world a bad place? We ain't the one out here giving us dog food, shit to eat. We're not the one out here saying no when you show up and ask for a job. We do take accountability. You never hear the good stories about the children that are fucking super geniuses and scientists like fucking uh, Soldier Boy. You never hear about those stories. People that take nothing, get it out the mud. Everything, you actually, you do. You, you hear it in the music. I got it out the mud. These niggas that actually went out here and worked for this shit. You sat behind building your brand off of other motherfuckers' downfalls. Their tribulations. I hope God allow us to see yours. We can't save the world. We never did anything for the, to the world. We're still asking for rights. And all of these fucking communities from east to west, north to south, and United States of America, I bet you you could see the same shit. Your community getting built and no niggas on the job. By the government. I bet you can go in the same, see the same setting in every community, a church and a liquor store. Even the gays walk up right in the fucking community. But a black man get killed walking down the street in his own community. Where the guns come from? Where the drugs come from? Rehabs in the community, your people ain't in them, bitch, please. Shut the fuck up. That's why your mama couldn't get no help, nigga. You sitting up here and you talking about people being on drugs. Thank God you wasn't on them because we all grew up in this motherfucking mist. This mist of misery. Nigga, and you know what? I don't live there now, but I still love the hood. Still go back and Lord knows that if I had a lot of money, I would invest into the hood. Resources, shit that they can use. That's the truth, bro. You built your whole platform off our backs. You're worse than a white man. At least today, they give you a few fucking dollars for your troubles. Your labor. You sitting up here, you, you, you know what I mean? You talking out loud, saying nothing. And then you apologize and you ain't no revolutionist, dog. Get the fuck out of here. You understand? This is your shit. I'm about to play it. Your words. What? We ain't ready. I, can, I understand. I see clear as day that black people don't want to walk around like our shit don't stink. Well, our kids is killing. Well, our, I'm not done. Our kids is killing kids in the hood. And their kids are killing motherfucking toddlers and babies. 
Toddlers and Babies, Sandy Brook, Daycare, Students that's up in motherfucking school, their kids. Talk about it, their kids. Come on, man. There's no white kids for in jail for crying. Our kids. It sound good. He's a real traitor because it sound good. Because when you do the historical matter of facts, motherfucker, we, we, we put it down. We, us, the blacks, paved the way. What we talking about here? What we talking about here? Motherfuckers desire to be us, to walk in our skin, to look like us, to get the melanin. What are you talking about? That's a few cases they're highlighting. You worse than the fucking news, highlighting cases. When you look on the news, that's all you see. There's multiple fucking multi-billionaire businesses in the community, in the hood, stop and shop, big conglomerate, grocery marts, up and down every motherfucking hood, three and four and five star market, big supermarkets, they didn't fucking damn near kill the goddamn mom and pop stores, T-Mobile, AT&T, and don't get back to the community, <laughs> kids still, the, the, they say they're supposed to help the, 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 the kids or whatever, the money go back to the school, kids ain't learning, kids, it, some kids ain't learning, because some, some kids are. It's not that bad, okay? But let's continue to listen to him, and then I got to go on my walking shit. You know? Killing kids. Numbers are crying over caskets in every neighborhood. And then the first thing that an ignorant nigga say is, well, you can't speak on Chicago. Mm-hmm. Yes, I could. He don't speak on motherfucking New York. He don't speak on the crime that he can get to right there. Uh, 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 real nigga, real nigga shit. Crime you can get to right there in the hood. You don't speak on the shit in your, the back of your neighborhood. There's more shit that go on in New York that ain't right than motherfucking Chicago. It's a shooting every time in your motherfucking big city of dreams, New York. All the time. There's so much shit going on. I mean, like, nonstop. It's the city of dreams. You understand? City of dreams. New York is the major lo- location, travel location. Motherfuckers come here to go and see the Statue of Liberty. New York. New York. And they're speaking about, you right, you don't. Like they said, they don't mind you being a blogger, but you get shit personal. You start getting your personal feelings. And you getting thousands of views. People watching that, believing that shit. And then, because you think, because you say sorry. A motherfucker be like, oh yeah, it's cool with what you said. So they going to do you like they did to me, Swanamaya, when they see him at that event. And they punched his ass. You ain't ready to go to jail, nigga. You ain't ready to go to jail. You talk a good game. You understand what I'm saying? But. You out of place, bro. And you even pissed a lot of people off. And believe me, as many people that do love you, it's a lot of people that want to see you, you, get hurt on film. I don't. I don't. But you don't, you don't have a filter. And you don't give a fuck. And your mouth is going to get you killed. Like, you ain't going to actually go up to a nigga and do something. Because that's why you left the hood. 
That's why you don't raise your children in the hood. Because you don't want that smoke. You don't want your children to be fatherless. But you talk like you do. Let's finish listening to you, bro. I know my God told me to pray for people like you, but I can't. I just can't. I, I, I'm not there, Lord. I'm not there, Lord. But may God bless you. Period. Because I got people, I got people from Chicago that's hitting me up telling me they tired of Chicago. I got people from everywhere in the hood that's telling me they tired of the hood. Okay. What does that mean? I'm tired of the hood. Because I'm tired how you misrepresent the hood. You got people from Chicago. There's a lot of people that be talking on the stuff in your city. In Chicago. But. What, what, what? Why they contact you? Contact your fucking government officials. Contact them. Shit, contact the police. If you really tired about. What is going on in Chicago, as he said? Work with the police. Clean up your neighborhood. Be willing to die for the right thing. And so I don't know why or how contacting Hassan is going to help clean up Chicago. So that gives him the right to belittle a, a, a parent from Chicago who lost children. How contacting Hassan is going to do that? Please, someone from Chicago, tell me that. How contacting Hassan is going to clean up Chicago and stop the murders? Manisha is bigger than Hassan and academics and the people that's even involved. Why you want to put that responsibility on us? Why do you sit up there and think that because of a person's behavior, it justifies what happens to them? Not one fucking police officer been convicted, beat the fuck up, family been tortured and killed for what has been done to us. Not anybody's kids who suffered Wildwood and Oscar, another city in Florida, has been compensated. Land's been stolen. What are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about? Niggas is tired of being real niggas. Real niggas don't last long. Street niggas don't last long. So when you sit up there, you telling me about real niggas, street niggas. What does that even mean? Cause real street niggas move in silence. Real street niggas don't be on the internet. You gotta really be telling them motherfuckers, yo, you should start a you should start a YouTube page. Real street niggas. I'm not even in the street. I'm more on my phone than I'm in the streets. And just like those who be on the phone, they're more on their phone than in the streets. They're showing you. Where do they spend all their times, all their days? They show you what they do when they let you in their world. Real niggas. Real niggas. What does that mean? Real niggas are from the street. Is that a real nigga? Okay, real nigga mean you going to jail? Real nigga mean you killing? Real nigga mean you getting killed? What what do you mean by that? Real mean what what does real nigga mean? I'm a real nigga. I'm a real nigga. Go figure. I'm about to go and walk. Up the streets. What the fuck does that mean? 
I'm not trying to be a blogger. I'm trying to be a revolutionary. And real niggas, see the problem with so called. I'm trying to. I'm not trying to be a blogger. But you've been on this shit for over three to five years. You are a blogger. You are a social media influencer. You are literally an influencer. You are. You're not a revolutionist. Okay? I'm going to look that word up because that's not you. You can't be a revolutionist. Fucking Fidel Castro was a revolutionist. Bay of Pigs. Niggas fucking stopped goddamn America from invading the land and fought them. To date, they had a fucking embargo against them because they did do that shit. A revolutionist. Niggas that's saving their fucking country and really doing the damn thing. That's standing for their fucking people in the country not to let people walk over them because they're tired of the oppression and the bullshit and they see through it. Niggas that picked up weapons and ready to go to war and die for a motherfucker to get their rights to be treated well, for the next generation to be treated well. A revolutionist. It ain't a motherfucker that sit behind goddamn a goddamn phone and talk shit all goddamn day. You a mouth revolutionist. It ain't that. That ain't out in the streets and all these years you've been on film ain't showing shit. Ain't showing networking. Ain't showing real good shit to change the community. It ain't you making an impact. It's you talking bad about your own fucking people. Fidel Castro didn't do that. And a lot of other people that are real revolutionists. Martin Luther King, you ain't never hear Martin Luther King put down no motherfucking black people. He rallied the people and got them together. Like Kwame was trying to do, and you spoke against that. You're a devil. Kwame said, get these boys trades and motherfucking, um, what he said, trades. And goddamn, oh my gosh, forgive me. But what did he say? Trades and technology. He said trades and, and forgive me, but oh gosh, I can't even remember. But you still talked against that brother. You know what I mean? He said trades and, what the fuck did Kwame say? Sorry, Kwame, baby, because you know I love you. Okay? It'll come back to me. But he was encouraging this in the school. You understand what I'm saying? Coding. Trade and coding in the schools. And you fought with that man. And to this date, you didn't even go back and try to pick that up. He still was saying, regardless to how I feel about you and you feel about me, still promote this code, training and codes in school. It's for the black man. Aren't you tired of seeing the brothers out here dying and getting killed and mothers crying? When you talk about accountability, these are our babies out here, nigga. Shit. I feel bad for my grandson. One day, man, he gonna be a man out in this motherfucker. He could be even 10 years old, nigga, and he be mistaken for carrying an object and shot down and fucking killed by the police. Come on, man. Shame on you, man. Bro, shame on you. Shame on you. Let me get this back up. Real niggas and street niggas, they don't never want to fight that revolution. They just want to be recognized as street corner hood boogers. Hood boogers. What's a street corner hood booger? You don't see that anymore. Street corner hood boogers. Where you see niggas hanging out on street corners anymore? They cleaning up the hood. They're now fighting to stay in the hood. Gentrification. What is, he, what is he talking about? And people who believe this shit is the people who don't be in the hood. You don't see niggas hanging out like that. What the fuck is hood boogers? These are people that, you know, the, the hood is a billion dollar industry. Do you know when you start going for government assistance and you try to get affordable housing, they put your little 
measly ass income up against motherfucking millionaires in the hood? From the least to the most? And that's how your little income tells you what type of unit you can apply for and can apply to. What's your median income? So what is he talking about? You can't even get into these hoods. These hoods, the hood boogers that live in these hoods, you can see mad units available. Mad units. Go on, go on Zillow. Go on Realtors.com. Go on fucking all of these places that promote real estate. And you see mad units available in Boston. But they want 3400 And niggas then really literally got killed outside that apartment building. Or in, you know what I mean? Bad neighborhood. Because you know the hood because you live there. That's how they getting us out. What is he talking about? That's why I'm like, I'm not fucking with that nigga, man. And that nigga don't represent me. And he don't represent a lot of us out here, people. Ghetto bastards. That's the Somebody laughing in the background. He talking about ghetto bastards. You, you gotta be a robot. You gotta be something not black, boy. How? I don't even live around now, and I still will never talk about my people like that, especially publicly. You understand? You talk about we try to, you know, act like our shit don't stink. But what are you saying good about our shit? How do you think every day people feel when they, like, you got construction projects going on and you trying to apply for those jobs and you can't get in them? They never hire you. <laughs> Everybody but you. You feel me? And you talking about ghetto bastards. Drugs neither. Duck never sold drugs neither. Hey, yo, I want Duck to never sold, sold. Look, Duck never sold drugs. Mama Duck wasn't in jail for selling drugs, for guns, for none of that shit. Check that nigga. Because she black in that same fucking hood, nigga. But she never got caught up in that. And the people that killed Duck was kids. It wasn't motherfucking grown ass men. It was kids that listened to your bitch ass. Mm. You ain't gonna get no sympathy when it go down for you. Salute to my brother Hassan, because I, I I was listening the whole time and salute your Hassan, man. Salute. Everything you said was a hundred percent fact. That's why I say, man, you can't be like salute Hassan. Salute. Everything you said was a hundred percent fact. No. There are some streets day and night in the hood. Day and night. People come in the hood and scoop up property every day, get their houses every day for just to have a house for pennies on the dollar in the hood. People be out here playing games with black people. The hood's become a diversified gentrification. How can you agree with him? This man don't even really interact with black people. What is he talking about? Look at, hide like the good shit in your city about black people. Like that fucking basketball tournament they have every year. Shit be popping in New York, man. It ain't just all that what he's saying. It save a community that don't want to be saved. You got to understand. See, you sound crazy. Well, first of all, men can't say Jesus saves. Jesus is our Lord and Savior. Okay? And you sitting up here, you talk about a community that don't want to be saved. Remember, when shit pop off, guess what? They don't know who you are. They don't think the way you think. They don't see your point of view. They don't feel your point of view. They see you as a nigga. <laughs> Dig that. You're a nigga too when shit pop off. They ain't saying, oh, that's her son. Oh, that's homeboy. That's saluting her son. Like, everything you say is a honey. Like, a person don't want to be saved. They ain't saying that. They see black and nigger, and I hate them. And, that, and don't save any of them. But that's why I turn into Lord, the Lord thy God, Jesus, my Lord and Savior. Okay? So you right. I don't look to me and to save me, baby. The black community is lost. It's, it's, it's straight hellfire that they lead their own people to. 
the bus. Okay, it's lost and straight hellfire that they leasing their own people to. Please go and show me some people that you hang out that they straight hellfire and they lost. Go show me people you personally hang out and know that it's like that, that you go around that setting. That's what I want to see. Show me some shit. And then make me a believer. Because you can't be just up here talking about shit and you ain't showing us what you talking about. It's like, yeah, that is fucked up. You understand? No. Show me some shit. And when you talk about people don't want to be saved, that means you don't want to be saved too. That means you don't want to be saved too. What about all the people that's doing right? All the people that got killed by police wasn't thugs, nigga. They were regular stand by stand by regular citizens. Regular citizens. They weren't gang members. They weren't the type of people y'all keep talking about the bastards. Some of the motherfuckers that you see beyond shoot film shooting. It wasn't those type of people. These was police officers, protesters, George Floyd. Who like you understand? Come on, man. What we talking about here? You understand? You don't represent me, nigga. God 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 the blood of Jesus over my soul. Shit, you better listen to what Mama Duck's saying. She said, Duck didn't have no criminal record in the Chirac. Duck didn't have no criminal record in Chirac, even after losing his siblings. Even if he said, I felt like a demon, he never avenged that death. What we talking about here? Come on, man. Better listen to some facts. People that grew up in the heart of that shit. Don't got motherfucking criminal records. They're actually law-abiding citizens. <laughs> Speak on it, sisters. Tell your story. Listen to the mother, the people, the the. Listen to the words from the horse's mouth. The people that it's their life. I'm leading the blind, and when a brother like her son come up here and try to speak to black to the black community and to black women and black men and they choose to go and take the nigga route and talk street shit that just show you the, the frequency the nigga route and, and talk the street shit they take the nigga route and talk the street shit and him too see all of these people say they ain't street they ain't niggas they don't live like this but who's the one bringing it like this Who's the one who's talking so foul and disrespectful? Who's the one? The same one's talking about how we supposed to accept your approach on some fucked up shit, how you approaching me. Cause most niggas in the hood do work. It's like, it's a big place. It's, don't believe the hype, please people, please. These, don't, these people don't represent us. And believe me, they out of touch. And the reality is when shit go down, they going to be gotten first. God hear everything they saying about his people. Because we God's people. You better believe that. Of the black community and black women and black men. So you can't help or say black people that's low. That's why I always say protect your family. Save your family. Each one teach them your family and the ones that's close to you. Listen, bro, I got, a, I got a positive question for us. Because time, black man. people this ain't no negative question. Shit like right that. There. Hold on, Bullet. I got a positive question for us. Part oh. of the reason why we don't... Some guy named Bullet. That's who was just speaking. I want to see them in City Hall. Since they ain't doing what the fucking black people out here doing, I want to see them being street workers. I want to see them at council meetings. I want to see them impacting at least um, tarts. Connecting with the the city hall because they, they don't act like black people. So the black man who was just coming home from work, who the police pulled over and shot him in front of his wife and his son, what was he doing? Freddie Gray, what was he doing? I can't breathe. What was he doing? George Floyd. Come on. What are we talking about? They ain't gonna see you, Mr. Bullet. 
doing the right thing out here, the one who's not lost, the one who's taking care of him and his family, they pull you over with your motherfucking son because mistaken identity supposedly happen every day. I thought he had something. Oh, reach for your phone and next thing you know, bullets is going inside of you. Mm. Ah, man, no, wrong, wrong, and wrong. You got to be meek. You got to be humble. You got to be, you know, kind, patient. You can't wear your emotions on your sleeve. You can't be calling black kids ghetto bastards. More white people have white people have more compassion for us and try to help us and work with us than our own people. And they go to to these places and be teachers. Did you go back to school and get your degree to be a teacher to work in the same environment and conditions to help these kids, these parents? You think every black household is lost and can't be saved? How dare you? How dare you be in a black man and speak like this? How dare you? Hassan and Bullet, evil and wicked. But then you want to talk about someone kicking up dust. Hmm. I speak on Chicago is because the part of the, the reason why the Regal Act was put into place is because of Chicago. We can't talk on games the way that, you know, uh, Cali and New York can freely in the media and shit like that. That's partly why. On a positive side, I Oh, but remember what gangsters they put the Rico play, the Rico act in place for, and actually it was for the New York gangsters, and yes, also the ones in Chicago and Nevada. It was the mob, the Italian mob. Let's not forget what gangs the Rico act was enacted for. Uh, you make your money how you make your money. Get your money. Ain't ain't nobody got no problems with that. Born and raised in Chicago, but 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 kind of to what they were talking about earlier. You're from New York. What have you done in the New York community? What have you done as far as uh, police reform? Have you made it? That's what I'm talking about. What laws are you changing down there? Are you working with the police, Hassan? Are you trying to really clean up the neighborhood? Are you a street worker? Do you work for City Hall? Do you go in there? Are you connected with anybody in politics? As opposed to just getting online, talking about how every community across the world is. There's people that's actually living in the shit. You don't even live in it. What are we talking about here? Any videos yet, you know, calling out the rep label. Like, what have you done on the other side? You know what? We gonna leave it off right there. We gonna have a... You see, they should have let him answer that shit. Why we gotta leave it off right there? What has he done? In, you know what I mean, New York. What has he done? And that's what someone told me a long time Shout out to Pookie XTV. Pookie XTV called Hassan on this a long time ago, maybe two, three, four years ago, probably. And he asked Hassan why he didn't talk about the guy who assaulted that old lady on the train that day, that, at the train station or on the train that time. We keep asking you the important questions. You need to be, we talk about accountability. Everybody want to know, since you've been molested, since you know it's all of these problems going on in the hood, since all of this stuff, since you've been on YouTube, what have you done? What have you stopped? What have you connected to? Anything. What? Other than just bad mouthing the black people. What? We want to know inquiring minds. This ain't no joking matter, bro. Hey, guys. You see, I'm really into my emotions and my feelings. 
I don't care if you feedback or you know, it's up to you, but um, just hold that thought, period. Have a good day, okay? Um.